Today we're going to be looking at the station setup.cat file as well as installing the project and synchronizing it to your robot controller. If you look at the first page in the station setup.cat file, you'll see its topology and you're able to add and subtract different robot arms if you need to make that change later on in the project. If you go to the software tab, you'll be able to see that you can select and deselect option packages. These are additional APIs or libraries that you could use. If it says it's not available, turns up in red when you try to select it, you need to go to help, install new software, and then use the add button to navigate to an archive where your option package is listed. So here we're gonna go ahead and try to find the HRC option package, hit open, and then you're gonna go ahead and say okay and select it in that UI. Once it's selected, you can move forward but I want to really quickly show you that if you look at what is already installed, you can see different option packages that are already installed in my workbench, and if I select one, I can uninstall it. We're going to keep moving forward and say next. After you hit next, you'll see this little window pop up. If there's an error, like it's already installed or something like that, that's where this will show up. Then you have to accept these terms and finish. Once it's installed, you'll need to reboot the controller, sorry, the workbench. And as you see in the bottom right hand corner, it tells you where the installation process is. It's 83% right now. Then we try to apply the changes now, but unfortunately you still need to restart the workbench. So once you've restarted the workbench, you'll be able to go ahead and say select and see that it is available. If you go to the configuration tab, you can see lots of different choices on things you can change like the media flange or the IP address. Here you'll be able to go ahead and install in the installation tab and hit install. This will save and apply. Once it's saved, it will update your project so the little error that's currently being shown in the package explorer at the project level will disappear and you'll have a little green IP address that says you're connected to the robot. If you're not, if it's not green, it will be red and you'll need to change the IP address of your computer to make sure you're connected. Otherwise, you'll hit OK. If you're trying to update your project IP address in that actual IP address, you can also change it. Once you do that, you'll be able to go ahead and install and then go ahead and synchronize. Synchronization, again, is like that Git setup so we can load from the controller or load or deploy to the controller. And you can, again, see the project names. If they're different, you haven't done an install. And if they are the same, you'll be able to choose from both of the options.